leave it up to Amazon and tell me that I can shoot macro at a super fraction of the cost of my macro lens using my smartphone. Macro photography with whatever is in this here envelope. It would be Amazon that's gonna tell you, hey, get with this right here <laughs> and you're gonna shoot some macro. So that's what we're doing today. Can we shoot macro with a cell phone at a fraction of the cost and when I say fraction I mean $12 fraction like that's a super fraction a macro lens can run you anywhere from $6.99 and up this right here is $12 let's go what up people my name is Gene and this is the feeding model where we focus on getting better at capturing models that feed your eyes and nourish your soul I'm talking about food photography and film as well as product photography and film. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. I'm always gonna clap it up for y'all. One time for my first time viewers, you could have been anywhere in this YouTube world, but you're here with me, you're here with us, the community, and we appreciate you for that. Okay, let's get right into it. This is an unplanned video. I just got in the crib and the package was here and I wanna see if this thing really works. What I have in this package is an adapter piece smaller than a business card. It's a band that supposedly you can put on your smartphone and turn your smartphone camera into a macro uh, lens or just so you can take macro pictures, macro photography, macro videography. And I don't know how well it's gonna work. This is the company here, Easy Macro, probably the good old Alibaba special. This is nuts. I'm guessing it's just a magnifying glass. That's, it's a rubber band with basically a magnifying glass embedded in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so what do we got here? We got easy macro card. Got a little introduction in the back here. For tips and inspiration, visit us at easymacro.com. Like us on Facebook and Instagram and tag your shots. Easy macro, hashtag. All right, so boom, here goes the instructions, right? You see that? Small font, I'll read it. I'll read it to your story time. Hi, easy macro, how do you use this thing? Oh, I get it, it's like a text message between you. Okay, so first thing first, turn off your flash and make sure you've got the rear camera selected. Next, hold your phone so close that the lens is nearly touching the object and then slowly pull the phone away until your <laughs> image comes into sharp focus. Hold steady. It helps to prop the edge of your phone on your pinky against a stable surface and shoot. So pool table style. I'll take the case off the phone because I don't want no excuses. I want to make sure I'm doing this legit. So I got this thing on first time. I've never used this before. You guys have seen a firsthand look. I just hit record and um, wanted to, you guys to see this. And we're gonna see if it holds up, if it can actually get a decent macro shot. All right, so I'm gonna go get some small items real quick and we're gonna put this thing to the test. I'll do a screen record and you guys can see in live view what I'm doing here. Right now I got a little bowl of spice. All right, so this is with the easy macro, which isn't too bad. There's a lot of, um, it has like this tunnel vision effect though. Let's see some. That's without. Can you see that? All right, so this is without the easy macro. I am right above the bowl and everything is blurry. I'm literally on the rim of the bowl right now. Everything is blurry. Now I'm gonna put this easy macro on and then back to the top of the bowl and there you go. That's what it looks like now with 1X, with 2X. Okay, so once you get this thing to stable, get stable, it's like a, it got this weird tunnel vision effect, uh, but it's, it's magnifying the image. I need something else. We're going to try this hat. So you start real close and then zoom out and it's not bad. I mean, look at the threads on that. I'm going to take a picture real quick. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's not, it's really not that bad, but it's, it's not like. I don't think I would use it for like a professional shoot. This is macro smartphone using the easy macro. See what some skin action look like. Look at that right up against. I mean, I'm kind of impressed for $12 though. Look at the hit, like look how it 
slightly grabs the hair, like that one hair follicle there. Broccoli. Look, I wasn't prepared. I'm just trying to find things with texture, man, so I could, oh, this is, this is nice. This is what, bro am I still recording? This is what broccoli looks like. Again, it's a very small window of focus. So, I mean, it, it does, technically, it does what it says. I mean, I guess it's no difference from taking your lens off your camera and reversing it. You know, similar to that, but it's just, you know, it's 12 bucks. I mean, what do you expect? All right, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit more. This was my quick, unofficial, easy macro review. Honestly, I think this thing has a little bit of potential. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. Like for anyone who has a smartphone that don't want to invest in a macro lens, you may be able to get away with some bangers with this here. I don't know. You just might. So I'm going to put that to the test, give it a little more time, mess around with it. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was short. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.